What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with you guys today. Got a long video, and I hope this video is uh, great and very informative to you guys because I've been having a problem with my tank. My tank has not been opening up. All my zoas have mainly been closed like this for quite a while. I started doing you know, lots of research, trying to figure out why my corals haven't been opening up, especially my zoos, they stay closed for a very, very long time. One of the articles that I read was to use Kemi Clean. Uh, it kind of always cleans up your tank, magically takes away whatever is going on in your tank. I tried that, it really didn't work. My coral stayed closed up. I then thought about it being uh, Asterina starfish, um, biting my zoas eating them all up um, of course I have Aptasia there too but I really really thought it was the Asterinas in a way it could have been the Asterinas um, but not as much as it infecting every single zoa that I had in my reef tank um, prior to this I had a beautiful tank I had my corals growing no problems whatsoever so I started to run out of ideas at my old house my corals were looking amazing. I grew corals. Um, I would lose some here and there, but for the most part, the tank was looking good. I had SPS. I really didn't do too many water changes. I had it going on in my, at my old uh, tank. Same tank, same 150, but then I started thinking maybe it's the water quality. Maybe something else further is in there. Could I did an ATI, um, you know, water test? Yeah, but all my money goes to coral, so I really was hard-headed and I didn't invest in doing that. I also kind of thought maybe it's because I'm not really doing water changes. Maybe my water changes are slacking and all I got to do is some water changes and my tank will get back and start looking good again. I mean, we all do it. It doesn't matter how long you've been hot in the hobby, reefing, if you just started, or if you're get, kind of getting lax like me and not doing some of the aquarium tank husbandry as uh, usual, maybe that's what it is. But I kind of started doing the water changes, started sticking up, keeping up with it, doing it again. And I'm telling you, my zoa stayed closed for a long time. Everything was looking good in my old tank before I moved. Um, once I started moving, we moved into a different house. Um, this is from my, my old before the move. Everything was looking good. I had lots of good color, polyp extension, everything looking good. I started getting bored and I added new livestock to my tank. I added this bicolor blenny and I really wanted a powder brown tank. Tang, I got it huge nice and healthy I got some snails everything was looking good um, it's just a beautiful fish one of my favorite fish to add is a tang the powder brown tang and it has a purple tang inside of the 150 so I wanted to add this to my my setup but I started to get worried I got worried because my powder brown ended up dying it didn't die because of the purple tang and them kind of um, getting to know each other that's not the reason why I think it died because of the water quality my bicolor blending it did make it is a smaller fish but I think it was because of my water quality I took my time acclimating the powder brown everything was looking good I was real happy to have this new addition into my tank because I kept my tank without any new fish I just have my clownfish and my purple tang in here for quite a while so what started to make me think even more I really had to dig into and see why my tank was messing up I bought a Hannah checker but for chlorine the reason I bought the, the Hannah checker for the chlorine is because when I was brushing my teeth I could smell like the chlorine coming out of the water and I kept telling the wife like hey do you smell this um, I started researching I started looking on the El Paso water utility they said they do use chlorine but I guess at my old house 
the chlorine wasn't as bad or as strong as it is over here. Now there was definitely chlorine in the water after I did this test. So I went online and I ordered some uh, chemicals called Fraction. This stuff removes any ammonia, it removes any chlorine in your system and it is also reef safe. I'm gonna go ahead and get it, turn it around and let you read it if you wanna pause it. This product is made by Continuum Aquatics. Basically you use one cap full, which is five milliliters and you use it per 50 gallons of uh, water inside your tank. I don't really recommend that you do what I do, but I ended up doing it to, uh, just to see, you know, if it was in fact the ammonia. Um, I really underdosed it. Like I said, it's one cap capful for 50 gallons. I did two capfuls. And as, I, as soon as I did that, guys, my Zoa overnight started opening up. This was the colony that stayed closed up and it, it slowly but surely started to open up. Um, I'm telling you, I was really happy about it. My test kit showed that I had ammonia, but I started using it and things started opening up. So what does that say? Is it a quick fix, temporary fix? Yes. Do I recommend you do that? No, because you could possibly harm your marine aquarium fish and things like that my corals were fine but what i ended up doing is i bought a brs triple saver and it's an add-on now i'm using this to take out you know bump up my system i'm going to change out all my filters uh, right there is my my water booster um, really i didn't have to buy the brs triple saver for the di i could have just took away one and added a, another canister i'm going to be adding more um chlorine filters to my di system my marine depot one and the brs one and uh this thing right here is a beast it actually did come with uh the three stages that came out with the tds meter and it also came out with all the uh um di resin which is excellent do you have to go all out and buy it the BRS triple saver, probably not. Just changing out your chlorine filters in your DI system would be great. But I went ahead and did it because I wanna, I'm trying to up and bump up my game. I'm trying to make things like really bump up my water quality because man, I go through water and basically uh, my it really sucks when you're doing all these water changes you can't figure out the problem and all you have to do is really buy some chlorine uh, filters because your city is using a whole bunch of chlorine in your tap water so that's why these rldi systems are important and long story short i'm gonna be staying up keeping up with the game so i changed out my di resin you can check out how blue this stuff is there's a blue one there's a purple one and then the last stage is a mixed bed uh, resin and the cool thing about it, it tells you um, like what stage it, what stage to put the BBA in. So it makes out really great. So I'm testing out my DI water. I want to make sure that uh, everything is good to go now. I'm going to continue doing my water changes and until eventually my system has gotten rid of all the other old water. Um, I'm going to be doing 20 gallon water changes every time until I'm finally uh, done and caught up and my tank looks good. This is the chlorine uh, henna checker. Awesome piece, I really recommend it and it's the best way to go. Now they do have the uh, test strips that you can buy. It's just gonna tell you if you have chlorine or not. This henna checker is gonna tell you how much chlorine you have and you know what, you can use it for your drinking water, your aquarium, it's a great thing and now you know what I have zero so go ahead and do me a favor guys hit that like button hit that subscribe and share this video we'll catch you on the next one guys